I think it is very helpful to remember that that forgiveness and spiritual awakening is not really a matter of of things and doing and form. It's really a matter of desire. It can be very, very rapid if you desire for it to be rapid. So the ego dismantling can be very rapid. And for many, if not most, it's, as Jesus says, a, each is given a slowly evolving curriculum. That's more the norm. And yet it need not be very long and slow and tedious. It can be more rapid if that's your desire. But it's really your desire over this moment your desire for this moment. It, it, it's a self-honesty, is this what I truly want? Because this world is a world of distraction and a world of isolation and a world of hiding, hiding from the light. And if you really have that be your prayer of your heart of wanting to experience the love and the light, then the symbols can be given quite rapidly and it can be fairly quick escape from time and space, but it does take a willingness to let everything up into awareness. And there are certain things that are so heavily reinforced and so believed to be true that, that truth can seem to be a threat to those things. There's a scientist, some of you may have heard of Brian Greene, but he's done lots of experiments to show what Einstein discovered decades ago, that the time and space are, are not fixed, and they are not absolute. They're relative. And so it contradicts human common sense because human beings are, are part of a product of a belief system and, and so is time and space. Even the increments of time and space, whether we, we call them inches and feet and yards and miles or the increments of time, milliseconds and seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months and years, those are not solid set increments. Even the perception of time and space is subject to belief and will change. And that contradicts human common sense. And so it can be that way with your awakening. You know, it can be it can be very sad to think that it will take a long, long, long time to wake up from a dream of guilt and fear can be a depressing thought of how long it will take. And yet my experiences have been with the Course and with miracles that, that the rapidity with which Jesus can work with the mind is quite amazing. It's a matter of desire, it's not a matter of time. And even in the 1990s with my early students, they would say, well, David, if I had your situation, I could wake up a lot faster, but here's my situation, and everybody would always describe what they described as too entangled, too complicated, and nothing to work with. Jesus has nothing to work with. There aren't the lucky ones and the unlucky ones, the fortunate ones and the unfortunate ones. We all are subject the same experience, and truth has no exceptions. So that's a good thing. We're all subject to the same belief system, the ego and the same limits, and we're also subject to the same intuition, spirit, guide, and we all have equal access to that, and therefore that's the good news. It's all really a matter of desire. <laughs>